What's going on everyone? Here we're taking a look at the Key Lime Cove prize counter. Um, this is a above average arcade with a below average prize counter in my opinion. Um, they have a lot of little like plastic junk figures here. Uh, I'm trying to get it with the camera glass so it's not always in focus. I probably should have used the GoPro. But these are all just little things like coffee mugs and, and stuff like that. Most of their plush is generic so stuff like these random sumo wrestlers and, and things like that just eh, you know it's not that great the, the good prizes are on the back shelf there there's a random world of warcraft thing i kind of want way on that top shelf there's like batman clocks there's a big teenage mutant ninja turtle that doesn't look name brand that looks like a knockoff um the only reason i talk about brand so often is because like true brand stuff is expensive um, but if it's like a knockoff and they're charging regular prices for them, that's kind of a bummer. Here they have a bunch of candy and little like bracelets and you got to have this stuff for little kids that don't have a lot of tickets but they want to get something. So they have a lot of like 0 to 100 ticket stuff, which I'll give them credit for. Um, here they have some of their electronics, so they have some Star Wars talking masks and a little light up drone. Um, little helicopter this is all like 30 to 40 dollars stuff in real life so hopefully they're not charging too much for the tickets there's like some mr pickle and big tootsie roll and sweaters and um there's plush babe enjoying her dipping dots but i'm not sure what they use that tv for either but on the top so you see all their plush that's my biggest complaint about this place is too much generic plush um, as at least like so, as a collector, like she dropped one down her shirt. <laughs> uh, as a collector, uh, it's unfortunate because at least I feel like getting name brand plush. I feel like it's nice to collect, but it's got lots of little stuff, which is probably what they need there. Being like a resort type place, they probably don't have a lot of repeat customers. Um, but again, more kind of just generic junk stuff. I, I mean, I don't mean to be too negative, but um, you know, it is what it is. If you're noticing this video looks slow, I kind of slowed it down because as I was walking through, I realized that it's so small that I had a lot I wanted to say. Like there's a 22,000 ticket truck and I'm like, oh, is that a remote control truck? Nope. And it's not even like a a branded like a monster jam it's just like a regular truck and they want 22,000 tickets for it I don't understand that um, that's just not that's just too much um, but they I mean they have some stuff mixed in but like I said I think they just have a bunch of little stuff to try and keep their their customers kids happy along the top they do have some some stuff hopefully I take a look at it it's all again it's all generic like junk which I hate to say but um, like nameless brandless nondescript plush I did notice however they had an actual Mario Kart but they wanted 70,000 tickets for it to give you an example I can get a Wii U at Dave and Buster's for like a hundred a hundred thousand or something like that hundred ten thousand so they're charging like two hundred and hundred and fifty to two hundred dollars for this thing in ticket value, you know? Uh, so that was a lot. But hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you have any questions, post them up on down below. What's up guys? Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, we've got all sorts of other kinds of videos from how claws work with our claw science series, out in the public playing fixed strength machines with fixed strength grabs, as well as us rocking some payout machines like Keymaster. We love to hate them, but we still play them for you. If you're new to the channel, take a second to crush that subscribe button now so you get notified the very second we upload new claw videos. Thanks again. We'll talk to you again real soon.